Ebola is a serious viral disease with a very high death rate. The disease is caused by a virus called the Ebola virus. The virus looks a bit like a long thread and is made of an inner core of genetic material with an envelope around it. It also has little proteins on the surface that help it attach and enter into cells. There are five different kinds of this virus. Only four of them cause disease in humans. The other one affects monkeys, and although it can infect humans, it doesn't seem to cause disease. The virus was first discovered in 1976 after a couple of outbreaks in Africa. One was in Sudan, and the other was in a small village in what is now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo. That village was near a river called the Ebola River, from which the virus gets its name. Since then, there have been over 20 Ebola outbreaks in Africa. The one that started in 2014 and is currently affecting the West African countries of Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone has been the largest outbreak ever, bigger than all the outbreaks combined. By the end of January 2015, there were over 20,000 cases and over 8,000 deaths. So where does this virus come from? No one is entirely sure, but it is thought that the natural reservoir is fruit bats. Other wild animals can carry Ebola, possibly having being infected by bats. Humans can get the disease with contact through an animal infected with Ebola. Once this virus infects a person, it can then easily spread from person to person, causing an outbreak. Let's have a look at how the virus is passed from person to person. People catch the virus by direct contact with an infected person's body fluids. The virus can enter another person's body through broken skin or through the mucous membranes in the eyes, nose and mouth. Once it gets into the body, it multiplies very rapidly in many different kinds of cells. It also attacks immune cells that are meant to protect the body from infections and creates havoc on the body's immune response. People with Ebola are only infectious when they start showing symptoms. The Ebola virus cannot spread through air or water and there is no evidence that it can spread through insects. Those who are most at risk of getting Ebola are those who have contact with a sick person's body fluids. This includes family and friends who care for those who are sick, healthcare staff looking after patients without wearing adequate protection, and people who participate in traditional burial practices that involve contact with the dead body. Once the virus infects someone, it can take anywhere from 2 to 21 days for symptoms to appear. The early symptoms can be quite non-specific and can include fever, headache and sore throat and muscle pain. People then go on to develop diarrhea and vomiting, which can lead to massive amounts of fluid loss from the body. When the symptoms get worse, people can sometimes start to bleed and the vital organs start to shut down, leading to death. The virus has a very high death rate and can kill between 25 to 90 percent of those it infects. There are a number of different lab tests that can be used to diagnose the disease. The most commonly used test is a blood test using a method called polymerase chain reaction or PCR. This test identifies the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. How about treatment? There is no specific treatment for Ebola yet, although a number of different drugs and other treatments are being tried out. The main treatment for Ebola is supportive care, the most important of which is replacing fluids that the body has lost. Prevention of Ebola is by avoiding contact with the body fluids of those who are infected by Ebola. This includes both humans and animals. Although there is no vaccine against Ebola currently, there are a number of different vaccines that are under trial and are expected to be available in the future. More information on Ebola virus disease can be found on the websites below.